It is a picture perfect morning in the city of Toronto. I, you know what? Clocks are back an hour. I don't hate seeing the sun at this time of the day. I don't hate it. Uh, good morning, Toronto. Dina Pugliese is off. Ladies and gentlemen, co-hosting today, the one, the only, Trish Stratus Hello. in the building. Hello. I'm in the building. Very early. Welcome, Trish. Thank good you so much. Good, good to this, see you. That this, was the official handshake. We yes. hugged earlier. I don't yes, know why he's yes, being so fun. official right now. Uh, welcome. welcome. Thank you. This, this is wonderful. Getting up at... Um, 3.30 is amazing. It's, you know it's what? So it doesn't, wonderful. it never feels like 3.30, does it? <laughs> I am usually still awake, finishing my day at 3.30, because I'm a party animal. But please, like, listen, yes. in the business that you've worked in forever, yep. that's... That's standard fare. That's red eye stuff off the plane. Yeah. Three yeah. thirty in the I'm morning. I'm used to just like just go. You, it's it, you know you kind of it's like interpretation. For sure. It's not sleep. It's a nap. And it's, then your brain goes, I got this. It's a nap. You get limited amount of Z's and then you go. I don't know how I like. Sorry, because I'm a wrestling fan. We're gonna dive in. Are and you out apologizing of this. for being a wrestling fan? No, no, I'm, no, to I'm the, just saying. The viewers. I'm, I'm gonna, sorry, he's I'm gonna, gonna do, commandeer do a wrestling this conversation <laughs> a lot. Forgive me. Okay. That's what I mean yeah. by that. He's like this. Trish Stratus is here. Trish Stratus, but just your, but the, yeah. the way the business always, I was always beyond fascinated with it yeah. because I was. You have to be on a lot yes. when you are super tired. Yeah. Like I remember, I well, I've seen you countless times. You're a pro. I remember. Well, I've said this story on air before. John Cena came in. Uh, I worked at the Score Television Network for a Gillette. Mm -hmm promotion yep we're talking red eye yep i believe it was from la yep and he came in and was on yeah and i'll never forget it and it was just and there's a lot of things i love about john cena but they're like i to be able to do that professionally considering the schedule you have to yeah. keep is a respect level i was always i will always have for anyone who's been in the wrestling business and continues to be in the wrestling business. Thank you. Appreciate that. And even, and on top of that, the bumps we do, right? On top yes. of that. On to, yes, sorry. <laughs> on yes. top of that. The, the act, and some the of us have to work. look good doing it all, too. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Great to see you. Good to see you this as well. This is going to be fun. Yes, so I'm let's, excited. Let, there's a lot going on with you. There is. So we'll get to that as the show progresses here. Because <laughs> it's not the Trish show. No, well, it kind of, it, I mean, it is it today be, because your resume isn't my resume and you have a lot of things that we have to talk about we here. We have to. Let's start with Canada's Got Talent. Yeah. Uh, season two. Taping is well underway for season two. Yeah. The auditions uh, have wrapped up. Completed. Forgive me. They've wrapped up they in Niagara Falls. Right? Yes. So the semifinal tapings will be happening in early 2023. Correct. Uh, also okay. in Niagara Falls. Right. Yeah. So uh, season one was a huge yeah. success, and you are one of our amazing judges. What did you, without, without divulging too much, obviously, what did you see in these recent auditions in Niagara Falls, and how has the show changed a bit in season two? Well, I feel like it's just like we're like next level. Right. I feel like we've opened the auditions to outside of Canada as well, so there's more. There was lots of auditions. When we had five days of auditions, it was 120 auditions wow. in five days. It was so, I haven't slept since then, <laughs> so we're good. We're still going. Um, but it, yeah, just in the next level, like Canada really brought it. Um, there's like really incredible acts, like stuff that'll blow your mind. There's really crappy acts as well, which will blow <laughs> we your mind as well. have to let those breathe too. Yes, but <laughs> those are fun. I enjoy those because I just be like, that's going to be a no from me. How did I you? I can be heel Trish, you know, the bad Why guy. not? Why? How, how exactly. Do you, so how do you approach that as a judge? Do you, do, so, are you cognizant about going too far? Oh, yes. If I was in your spot, it would be no holds barred, okay, to borrow another but, wrestling term, forgive me. Sometimes there's people that are like, do stuff, you're like, this is ridiculous. But yeah. then there's some people that come up and you're like, you have to like look at them and go, oh, they actually think they're good, right? Like they think this is their shot of a lifetime. So you have to be a little, you, I'm the, they I'm, think my, they're good. They think they're, I'm like, you think, <laughs> wait, you think this is a good audition, right? So I have to be like the mom vibe comes on for me. So I'm like, listen, you are so bad. But you look so good. <laughs> Bye. You, I find, I like having watched Canada's Got Talent, I like I can kind of spot, like when I hear you or someone on the day say, you know what, I love your passion. Yeah. <laughs> to me, I when I hear, I passion. love your passion. And you look down and you go, but for me. Right. And the thing is, I'll tell you what's funny versus the AGT judges as we go, so it's a no for me. Sorry. And we all say sorry. We can't well, not say it. It's Canada's, it's Canada's Got, got talent. talent. That's what we do. It, we, it's what we do. We kill them with kindness. So you're having fun? Dreams are killed, but kindly. Yes. Uh, have a yeah, good time? The best. Love it. Dream awesome. gig. I mean, besides this one. Sorry, Please. Dina. This is, no, you're kind. <laughs> this is not the dream gig. No, dreaming uh, like I normally am dreaming. Oh, at this normally point, at this time. Saying. Fair enough. <laughs> Again, uh, the semifinals for Canada's Got Talent will be happening in early 2023. Headed to Niagara Falls. Come, come out and see us. It's so much fun. The one and watch all the behind Trish scenes. Stratus joining us in Talking studio. Talking so much. 
we're talking. Gonna have, we're going to have a lot of fun we're today. We're going to wrestle later. By the way, just that's don't probably, leave because he will happening. be wrestled that's not happening. later on I can't, this evening. I can't afford he will to bust be body an ankle slammed here, Lord. and stuff like that. Uh, well, speaking of physicality, over to the <laughs> Cupid story. Tam, good morning. Oh it's 7 o'clock. It's a great segue. It's getting yeah. So, Trish, how has your year been so far? Not, I, I, I'm on the nice list. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think well, so. Well, let's find out. Yeah, ask him, Santa, please. Trish, on the, on the nice list or naughty list? Well, of course, it's been a few years since we've seen Trish on the nice list, but she has made her way back to the nice list, and I couldn't be more pleased. No. Oh, what? Okay, Santa? now, now, wow. now, now, Sid. Well, yeah, but, yeah, we'll all find out why she was on the naughty list after when we're off air. Um, Sid, now, Sid, is he on the nice list or the naughty list? Well, Frankie, uh, it's kind of an awkward, kind of an awkward conversation to have, you yes. know. Sid might be the only one of the team on BT that still has a little more work to do, but there are still several <laughs> weeks before Christmas, Sounds Sid, and we right. know Mrs. Claus and I are Not keeping good. our hopes up that you can turn things around. Take that. Good morning, Toronto. We're going five wide here on the most watched morning show in the country. This is Breakfast Television. Trish Stratus in for Dina Pugliese. Good morning to the entire crew. Uh, have you guys heard about this Twitter thing? No, tell us about yeah. it. No, what's that? All right, so no. Elon, Musk, Elon Musk, who is like a, a villain written on a script somewhere yes. that came into life in true form, uh, now owns it, and he wants to allow people to have a blue verified check mark for $8. Now, this plan is on hold until after uh, what many expect to be a very volatile midterm election in the United States. Again, it's happening tomorrow. We'll talk about that here on the show coming up. But some celebrities who are verified right now are already getting involved in this, and they don't like it. Uh, comedian Sarah Silverman and actor Valerie Bertinelli use their verified accounts to troll Musk, <laughs> copying his profile, cover image, and name, and supporting Democratic candidates across America ahead of the midterms tomorrow. Valerie Bertinelli tweeted, the blue check mark simply meant your identity was verified. Scammers would have a harder time impersonating you. That no longer applies. Good luck out there. Now, Trish Stratus has 1.3 million followers on Twitter yeah. and counting. And if you don't take that, that thing away, I will take my... 1.3 million and go to MySpace. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, that's not a good threat. No. Oh, okay. you go to the TikTok. You the go to the TikTok. I'll be on the TikTok. What are the kids doing? Yeah. What are the kids But honestly, cool. you have a it's huge cool. following. You're young, you know, TikTok. You yeah. have yeah. a huge following. Yeah. What is your take on anyone for eight bucks becoming verified? It's ridiculous. It was very exciting to get the verified check mark, and it makes sense because there are people that are faking your accounts and things like that. Um, I don't know. I think. Um, I, I feel like some like you want to say that's it. I'm done with the platform because there are other outlets, and maybe we can move on. Um, are you done with the platform? Does this make you nervous? I mean, I want to be like, yeah, well, then I won't do it. But then I know that, like, you know, I have some, I have some news to get out there. I want you guys to come <laughs> to my next signing, so I want you guys to vote on Ken's Got Talent. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's tricky, it really, and he knows that. He knows it's tricky. He knows. Yeah. I think, I think that's the issue, right? It's the followers that you would have on there, the fans that you have on there that want to connect with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're the ones who really lose out. Right. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, right? I was just dying because the the videos we were showing of him, he, he reminded me of Conan O'Brien. Like I thought it was a Conan O'Brien skit of Elon Musk yes. in like some weird outfit. I was like, wondering what's going on. Uh, I I have a love hate with Twitter because there is a lot of negativity already on there. Um, but I love it because of that, because there are so many people that are passionate that want to get involved and have the conversation yeah. of whatever is in, in a good way. Um, and that's where a lot of us get our news. Yeah, sometimes sure. like the first thing of the day, like, what do you do? I hear Tammy talking about something. I want to go get more information about it. I start scrolling through that. Right. So uh, it, it does serve some good. Mm -hmm. Stephanie Henry. Oh, I hate Twitter. I will yeah. leave tomorrow. <laughs> I'll leave tomorrow. Like, I will leave now. I mean, I've been in per in person, like people on Instagram mm. anyway, yes. yeah. making the accounts and using yeah. your pictures. Yeah. Yeah. And what I hate the most is that people that, you know, follow you, that believe in you or, you know, that love you are being fooled by these people yeah. and are being asked for money and yeah. for and all this stuff. And that's not OK with me. And honestly, the verification is to verify that I am who I am and that, you know, public interest people yeah. like Trish, like anyone here really um, are who they are. And so that people don't, you know, take advantage of your image and then sp start to say things that you would never say. I think it's really like just it's just yeah, I'll leave tomorrow. Like Twitter is a terrible place. And I'll, I'll go. Damn it. Uh, we get a lot of news updates yeah. on Twitter. We rely on Twitter for the latest in, you know, even today, looking at the strike situation. Mm -hmm. I'm on Twitter all the time. You're looking at your phone right now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. honestly, I am. 
And so to take away that check is just going to make it more difficult to, you know, just verify, verify. that you mm -hmm. have the right information from the, the right, right people, mm -hmm. police, the province, uh, the unions, they all use Twitter to get that message out there. And unfortunately, to, you know, paying eight dollars for it just takes away the the um, the verification mm -hmm. there, and uh, yeah, gives it to anybody. Unfortunately, I, I haven't seen, and Laura, executive producer, I don't mean to have this discussion live on air. I don't know if Rogers is going to continue to pay eight dollars a month for me or us or, mm. or mm -hmm. people here in the company at Rogers Sports and Media to have a blue check mark. I haven't seen that email yet. I think it's a really serious discussion to have. Because someone could impersonate you, mm -hmm. or you, or yeah. Tristratus, or I, or Tammy, and that's a serious thing in whatever way they want to impersonate. Mm -hmm. So if, if Rogers isn't going to do that, I understand that. I will have to do it. I've been back and forth on this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to do it, not because I want to do it. I have no choice. Some, some clown in Kelowna who wants to act like me yeah. and say whatever they want, I'm not doing that. You need to hold on I'm to your, not doing that. your brand, your and not image. And yeah. not to single out Kelowna, I love Kelowna, but any part of the country. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I mm -hmm. feel like now, if I never, there's a chance I'll never tweet again, but I will keep that account. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because one day I will have to, uh, like Goldberg, spear someone in the <laughs> ring. Nice. Thank you for the wrestling, 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 wrestling reference. Wrestling reference. Yeah. Uh, Sorry if there's a lot of reference. No, no, no. no, no. Wrestling today. I love wrestling. Uh -huh. Always have. Yes. If, yes. Get, get on the bus if you don't like it. It's still great. <laughs> um, but I, I feel like I need to. Am I the only one that feels that way? Well, I feel like to protect myself, I have to. That yeah. other people can still technically, like what the yeah. celebs are doing, say, I'm Sid Six Arrow and I'm going to mm -hmm. pay this $8 and I'm going to just say what I want. But they still and have they the five buy, followers and, and I don't. But they can buy that. They can buy that now, too. They can, but they're going to have Okay. Well, let them try and have the funds, but we'll see. The way all of us got verified, especially on Instagram, to make sure you got that check mark, you had to show your ID. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was yeah. ID. Everybody on these platforms should be verified in that way. Right. Mm -hmm. Whether you are in a celebrity status or not, if you want to be on those platforms, verify that you are a real human so that you are accountable for the words and the things you mm -hmm. put out there. Sure. Mm -hmm. Verify everybody. Here, here. Give That's everyone it. a check mark here, here. if you're going to do it that there way. You go. One yep. last thing. Yeah. Why not charge the eight dollars? I understand revenue. You need it. Mm. Charge the eight dollars for something else. For the edit button. For mm. other new <laughs> features, <laughs> right? Yeah. Instead yeah. of the yeah. blue, just leave the blue check mark. Don't because we're talking identities and everything. How about, yeah. If, yeah. how about if you take video from someone's account? You got to pay twenty bucks. You can use it. Mm. Yeah, you can retweet amazing. it. Yeah. Why? Because I've been caught doing that. Yeah. Full disclosure, because mm -hmm. sometimes there's awesome videos mm -hmm. that you want to retweet. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can do that instead of this ridiculous thing. To be continued on Twitter. <laughs> to be continued. And check out my tweet later on this topic. Yeah, it's going to be so good. <laughs> oh, I think you, do you go on social media? Because I, I think I sent you a few tweets over the weekend, and oh. I don't think you answered oh. one single one, one of them. That's oh. a I like so a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk oh, about that. I like a few of those. Non -verified, I'm she's say, super, it might be non -verified. She's super <laughs> mad at me, and we got off on the wrong foot. How about this? When we all point, do, we're going to do a weird thing. Just point when we point. Coming up next. We are Birds. celebrating you. Yeah. We got birthdays. We got celebrations. <laughs> Welcome back to BT. Trish Stratus in for Dina Pugliese. My name is Sid Sixero, WWE Hall of Famer, media mogul. We don't have time for the oh, resume. Wow. We only got like 90 seconds. <laughs> but here's one thing from the resume. You are in a Christmas movie. Is that Actually, right? Actually, I like to call it a Trishmas movie just because <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, but yes, I am in a Christmas slash it is, Trishmas It movie. is called Christmas in Rockwell. Yeah. And guess what? We have a teaser for you. Let's listen to it. Alyssa. <laughs> You have a life here. Lisa, please wait. You will always be my shining star. You should see me throw a drop kick. <laughs> gotta, get in a, gotta get in the reference. Uh, Stephen Hazar yep. is your co-host, your co-host, co-star yep. there. Yep. How much fun was this? You, that was subliminal. You want to be in a Christmas movie with me? That's what's happening right I want, now. I want to be in a Christmas movie. Period. Period. Not even with me. Just this looks just any. I'll, it's so cute. I'll be right? the guy selling hot cocoa yeah, in the background. In rock. I can I can arrange that. But yes. how cute does that look? This. How much fun was this? This was. A, it's like a bucket list. I mean, I think everyone loves. I think everyone. Everyone loves Christmas movies, right? I'm addicted. Okay. Honestly, yeah. around Christmas right. time, I'm addicted. Yeah. Only during Christmas time obviously it'd be yeah. weird otherwise but um, no to get this gig was amazing and it was so much fun and the you know you're with these people for like a few weeks and you get to know each other and it's just a great team and it's amazing
amazing. And and you shoot and in the summer? Is that a true thing about these movies? We you do. I shot one in the summer. I did a little cameo. It was the summer, you know, so you're wearing these big puffer jackets and it's not pleasant. Uh, this one was shot in the winter and it's also not pleasant to be freezing cold <laughs> and try and look like this, you know? So, yeah. Um, again, Christmas in Rockwell, the one and only Trist. What haven't you done? Um, you just need to run for public office, and you got everything everything sorted. Okay, we have an announcement later on today. I thought we we're gonna. Okay, I thought we were keeping until later. Where, so when is this? Uh, when can people see? So this Where is available on TrishStress.com right now. Awesome. Right? He was. People still buy DVDs. This freaked me out. He's like, what is this thing? Like, is this, this a book? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Yes, people still buy those. Okay, apparently from my That's website. Awesome. But it will be streaming. It'll be uh, on City TV closer to Christmas, and it'll be uh, coming to you for your Christmas watching season. There is. So what role would you see me? Having in a, in a Christmas movie, I think you would be very good at uh, giving cocoa to people. Um, I think throwing snowballs in the background of a snowball fight. I see that happening. If I judge the Christmas tree competition, oh, I believe I'd be yeah. strong in that role. Can too. I see? Can you give me a little yes. audition? Let's see. Nice tree and things of that nature. I don't like that tree. That's actually, Scene. I got the job. That's a no for me. <laughs> Always be judging. See? Canada's got talent. Mean. So judgy. Uh, Dina's <laughs> off. Trish Stratus, she's amazing. It's 8 o'clock. You're watching BT. Good morning. I'm so this. excited about this. This is exciting. It is time for I Wake Up With BT. Trish Stratus joining us this morning in for Dina. And this this is something you haven't... You've seen me do this. I've seen you. Yes, of course. And you're like, why is that buffoon running around the Canada's Got why Talent Why is that buffoon stage? doing this? Yes. <laughs> doing now, a half cartwheel and yes. stuff like that. Yes. But yeah. now in person, you get to understand why. Yes. I, I, this is exciting. You've Thank got you a for, cowbell ready to go. I, I am so ready. I have two. I'm going to use yours. Go ahead. I'm going to double it up. Double it up. Okay. I'm going to double it they up. They banned me from using the bell. So here's what happens. We call somebody. You answer within four rings. You say, I wake up with BT. And bam, you win $1,000. It's nice. Now, if you notice, I have the little baby bell once again. Okay. We, we, had, we had decorated the main cowbell for Halloween. However... There was some issues with it. It didn't ring properly after, so I took it into surgery. Okay. Uh, we have a photo of what my weekend has looked like. Otherwise, there you go. Devo became obsessed uh, with the bell. I needed hey. to make it obsessed. ring again properly. Okay, yeah. This bell will, <laughs> I will make this bell great again. <laughs> okay, if there's a winner, of course. <laughs> yes, so uh, as you saw there, there was uh, some WD-40. Yep. Uh, I had an X-Acto knife blade, Is that what uh, that was? utility <laughs> knife there. Yeah, I don't know if you like have a, the photo again. You can show it again. A crafting weekend. You had a little crafting. It wasn't really crafting. It was mean, stressful. I have okay. a steamer okay. there. I have a Blow dryer, okay, wow. screwdrivers, and you can see like the stuff's coming off. So it, it's that much? Wow. yeah. So yeah, it's, no. you just walked into Lowe's and went to town. It's uh, it's post surgery for this bell. I'm excited for this. And so we'll, where is it? it it's it's still oh. recovering, getting oh, some touch ups. It's, still it's not IV. ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah okay. it's not ready. It's tomorrow. Oh, oh tomorrow. thanks. You have to Your wait for tomorrow. Your timing's impeccable. Wait for tomorrow. You missed out, Trish. My yeah. goodness. You missed out. So someone wins. You can celebrate however you feel. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. I'm sure. Okay. Double bell. We're double. We're, we're ready to go. I'm so right. excited. Let's do it. First call right now. Within four day. rings, say, I wake up with BT. Let's give you some money on a Monday. Does Trish Stratus get a winner on day one co-hosting here on Breakfast? First Hall? caller, yes. Yeah. First caller. Ain't nobody in school. I feel oh. nobody's got to do anything. Good You're point. right. Yeah. Don't blame me. I'm not the person. I bring, no. I bring the W. There you so go. That's a win. Yes. A big there. dub. Yeah, there you go. Dubs. Here we go. This one. I forgot about how QP would affect this bit. You're right, honestly. I wake up with BT. Well, let's go. Let's go. You can say it three times if we you like. We all won with that one. But beautiful. Congratulations. Hello? She, Please don't she, hang we up. We scared her too loud. Are, are you still there? Uh-oh. Oh. Hello. Yeah, oh, don't, yes. watch your, don't watch no, your TV anymore. No, turn down anymore. your TV, yeah, man. Yeah, just stay Please on the phone turn down with us. your TV or yeah. you don't win $1,000. <laughs> Please. You can't do that. Is this Sid? That's Sid. It's Sid. Yeah. It's and Trish Stratus. And Trish Stratus and Devo. And Devo. You do. Hello. Hi. I wake up with BT. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, we got you. You don't get an extra 1000 okay. every time you say it. <laughs> what, you is, what, is, what is your name? Jan. What is it, Sorry. Jan. 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 Hi, Jan. 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 Good morning, from Burlington. Jan from Burlington. We got you. So you got us on the phone now. Yeah, don't worry about your TV right now. This is where you're going to hear us best. Uh, Jan from Burlington, you've got $1,000. Yes. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. You're so welcome. Uh, what do you want to do with this money? 
Well, there's always lots of good charities around, there and are. Christmas is coming, so lots to celebrate. That is amazing. Uh, Jan, we have Trish here. Uh, this is her first time participating in I Wake Up With BT. Hi, Jan. And I said I was going to yeah. bring the win, and so we did it. No, not that me and Jen cahooted, just to be clear. No, no oh, cahooted. Yeah, yeah, don't just, start. Just to be clear. Just, some rumors. I do not know Zero. you, Jen, right? Yeah. Not my neighbor. Thank uh, you. Uh, Auntie Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Jen. Mom. No. <laughs> that was very exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. Sorry, there's been a delay on my cell phone. That's why I didn't understand the yeah, well, you got to drop the bell phone and get a different phone. Yeah, no worries. We got you, Jen. It's all good. <laughs> All right, Jen, congratulations once again, and enjoy the rest of your Monday and that money. Thank you so much. You too. Best job. Right, Jen. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. I'm Double upset. bell. Oh, it up. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I like how you hold the bell. That was so much fun. It. You hold yeah, it. No, there's I more torque this way. I have a technique. Yeah, yeah. no. I, yeah. I've been, there's more torque. There's more. Yeah, no. no dude, I know you don't cover it. You, just you need your other bell. I mean, this is, this is. Dude, it's, yeah. it's But it's when your real bell you're comes, tired. you're just, you're downplaying that bell. So when your bell comes, because listen to the acoustics oh, yeah, on this. Oh, yeah, you can't wait. I can't wait for Yeah, it's, I can't bell. wait. I, I guess I'll have to tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes, yeah. there you yeah. go. Get you wake I, up early again. Or maybe I'll just be at the window like this. Guys, can I come in? They're like, can no, just, we just needed you yesterday, Trish. Just one day. Go home. Just go. One day only. So don't show up tomorrow. You don't want me to. Trish, show one day only. That's it. Noted. So we Noted. tomorrow we're gonna tomorrow we'll do another thousand bucks, and okay. maybe uh, the big bell will be back for sure. Thousand dollars. You haven't registered? Go to breakfasttelevision.ca or scan that code on your screen right now and get registered for I Wake Up with BT. Sweet like that. Um, do you want to talk wrestling or Vladimir Guerrero Jr.? We have like ninety seconds. What do you want to mm, talk? About? Uh, Trisha's choice. I'm good. I mean, I mean, what would you like to talk? Yeah, about? what would you like to talk about? <laughs> Mr. What would you? What would you? Like Everyone's just passing along. What would you no, like Trish, to talk about? What would you about? like to talk about? You're, you're the guest. What would you yeah. like to talk How about? How about you tell us? We, what, well, we were well, talking in the break. Let's waste more time and talk about what we should yeah, talk about. Yeah, now we have 30 seconds. No, we have no time. <laughs> no, time's, okay, thank you. Zero time. No, we were talking in the break. Forget yeah. I'm, I'm talking your ear off about yeah. wrestling. Mm -hmm. And I remember. Obsessed. I remember what was the year 2009? What was the the what was the Rock Hogan Oh, that was 2017. We're not that old. But wow. Yeah. No, the, the Rock Hogan one. Though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. What are you was, talking about? Then? No, the the going back like. Oh, okay. Which one? When when the, when Hulk Hogan got cheered for the first time in years at at, mm. uh, at Rogers Center, it was one of the great moments of all time. Trisha's next match out. Yeah. Oh. She's next. Rocky and Hulk have an all timer. We're right. Am I wrong in saying that? Oh no. It's an all time match. The greatest, you know, uh, wrestling icons of, in history yeah. going face, face facing off, and it, then my match is next. I was, have to follow that. that. So you're backstage watching yeah. it. What are you thinking? I have to follow <laughs> that is what I was thinking. Oh, my God. And I was so into it, too, right? Don't forget. I'm into it. I'm like this. I'm cheering. I'm like, oh, my God. This And Toronto is known to be bizarre world. This is what we do. We go against the grain. That's what oh, we yeah. do. Uh, it, it was hard to follow, and, but it was my hometown, my first championship match. In, uh, in WrestleMania. Um, I don't know. I think we did a good job. Though. I thought you did. My, my main point was <laughs> he you know, she me. had he to follow <laughs> yeah. one of the great matches. Of, because Toronto, that was the first time t any fan had cheered Hogan in years. Yeah. Right. And all of the young wrestling fans in Toronto who grew up with this guy said, to heck with it. Yeah. We're going to let him know. Yeah. And it was a huge emotional moment. And Trish is there backstage going, okay, this is a bit of a moment here. Yeah. Trish came out, had an amazing match as well. Got a huge you. ovation. It was one of the toughest things I've ever seen Me any do. type of performer do <laughs> is follow that, and you were phenomenal. Thank you so much. You were phenomenal. I, I just wanted that. to say Thank that. you. It so was it's tough. It's one of the memories I'll always have from wrestling in this city. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, there's, there's many, but that one I'll always remember. Yeah. You came out, and, it, and you just, just slayed Hometown it. Hometown girl. Great. There you go. <laughs> a big thank you to Trish Stratus yeah. for coming on. Thank you. So much fun. Who knew you guys were so much fun? Do you have an update on our celebrity <laughs> name? Oh, I do, actually. I it? know you don't go on social media much, but um, just to let you know, um, Trid. Trid is the winner. That is our Trid. name. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Yes. It, it's, we called it's good. it. All right. We called it. I still need yeah. to be convinced. Uh, Canada's Got Talent. Again, the semifinals are happening in Niagara Falls yep. early in 2023. Yep, that's right. Uh, look for Trish there. The Christmas movie, what's it called again? When, where can Christmas people find in, it? Christmas in Rockwell, and you can get it at TrishFest.com if you want it. And I'll also be your friend. <laughs> oh, see that? See that? Yes. Do you like the gig? This is fun. Yeah. I'm gonna I might show up again tomorrow. What, right. what will you do? Will you just kick me to the No, curb? don't show we up when you're not scheduled. We have people we'll, on staff oh, that yeah. do that. You don't want to do oh, that. Oh, I see, I got you.